Couldn't see him. Nope, nope. <gasps> no. <laughs> okay, guys, so my first episode was entire chapter one. <clears throat> now I'm starting chapter two, and there's a million ways you can play this game. Uh, no one is right or wrong but i want to show the way i like to do chapter two and if you dig this video make sure to like and subscribe and see if i can get 20 subs my standards are pretty low <laughs> all right all right let's start with eating there's kieran <laughs> Good morning. Talk to Dutch. Good morning, Arthur. Okay, there, Dutch. Warm, dry, and nobody's shooting at me. A marked improvement. Indeed. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, then. Oh, I don't have the ledger yet. I gotta do the Strauss missions. Okay. I wanted to see what I need for the camp upgrades. All right. Let's go. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Yes. Thanks for all your efforts. You're very welcome. I know we don't say much, but we appreciate it. We'll see you later. Somebody's singing. not smell of campfire again morning i think it's in our skin now <laughs> all right mayor biff i'm bored out of my mind been cooped up for days well bored is better than freezing Let's see. I want to go down here. Here's the tobacco guy. Well, hey there, partner. Come take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Nature's gift to us all. Hmm. Focuses the mind <laughs> like nothing else. Whatever you say. Well, I say, why buy it off the shelves when you can make your own? Indeed. Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Well, shit. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that line. Yep. 
so here's Limpany. This is the first place I like to go. Uh, 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 let's see, there's a lot of proof around here that uh, Cornwall burned the place down. See the barrels? Oil barrels. There's more barrels. I think there's a letter you can find somewhere that uh, is a clue. But Limpany wouldn't let the railroad go through, so Cornwall burned it down. I like to come in here and get my first present. to roads. Clean my horse off since I don't have a brush. Oh, great. Figures I'm going. Uh, my legs all numb. What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. <gasps> Yes! Yes! Just lift as hard as you can! Oh, thank you! Thank you, you saved me! Oh, that was bad! Okay. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Where's she gonna want to go? Oh. Valentine? What'll I tell Mildred? Well, you need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Please let Do it be Do you know Valentine? Valentine? Oh, I live good. there. No problem. It's close. I'm not going to worry about leveling this horse up because I'm going to buy a new one. She's not talking. I don't normally travel this far alone, you now know. Now she is. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. Oh. See, my husband. Well. It's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds right. promising. Also doesn't sound real. You may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. Oh, God! <laughs> I'd be careful with offers I wasn't like trying that, to do that. Ma I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me? 
is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. a little further. Mister? We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. <laughs> Morning. Did the university send you? Nope. Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. <laughs> Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. Totalosaurus. I call it Totalosaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you Arthur give me a gathers hand here, all please? the evidence. Uh, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Good luck. I'll keep my eye out for you. And it's our first stranger. Deborah McGinnis has requested your help in finding dinosaur bones. The location of each bone can be mailed back to Deborah from any post office. And I have none. hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You done me a service. O'Driscoll's. Hey, look. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. So he but takes their horse. if it's already stolen. God damn it. blame him. Alright, let's loot these guys.
What was that? No, no, no. So here we are with my gold bar in Rhodes. I like to get the gold bar first and then come over here. Oh, good, a new patron. Welcome, welcome. Why is everything so blurry? These guys have some funny lines. Nope, I need that. Need that too. There we go. Can I buy? You just discovered my little shop here? Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't know you could get that. Hmm. No, I don't need these yet. Hello, sir. Thanks, Glad buddy. Have a new patron come through. Don't bother with Alvin's shop today. All right, I have everything he has, but better. I can't say what I just know. <laughs> I don't think one fence is better than the other. <clears throat> All right, so it's back to Valentine. Oh, there's a stagecoach. I'll take that. Take a ride. Where do you want to go? Valentine. It's the only place I can go. Can you take me to Valentine, please? Well, that's gonna take a while, but I'll get you there. Come, get up. <laughs> okay, here we are. Here we are. Appreciate the ride. See you around. Come on, boy. All right, so here we go. Boy Callaway. Come on, sir. Try to remember. What really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. <laughs> but did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't 
give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, <laughs> like their tails. Oh, my gosh. Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> Who's your friend this there? This isn't going very well. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. <clears throat> the gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. The man not with really. no name. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and... Well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Some other flop house. Here are some other flop house. All right. Let's see. There's Black Bell. How you keeping? Last reported sighting near Blue Water Marsh. Oops. Wanted to look at the rest. Oops, the guy's down by roads. Have a nice evening. Flacco Hernandez. Hide out in Coulter. And Emmett. Okay. Now they should be on the map. There's Black Bell. Billy Midnight. Granger's up here. Oh, wait, that's Flacco Hernandez. Why isn't Granger on there? Weird. It's the last one I looked at. That's probably why. Come on! Try and help people! I, I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? No? Use your, <laughs> use your strength to help the weak! How about you, sir? Is it because of him? 
sir. Hello, Hello sir. You get a lot of money doing this? Not <laughs> much. But it's the trying that counts. If you say so. Well, I do. And who do you help? I'll help you learn to keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Sorry, sir. <clears throat> Come on, please. Please, somebody, be generous. Show you care. Come on, please, somebody. Oh, I can't get in. I want my horse. And the mail wagon, or whatever it is. Judge Finley? Okay. Well, I don't think I've ever read any of these. Judge Finley. Judge Finley, dear sir, your honor, you will pardon me for addressing you. However, I am very ill. So much so that I am not in a condition to attend my trial. If it would please your honor, I would like to, you to send me to the poor farm or send me my release. I am the unfortunate victim of a morphine habit. Judge your honor, you have discharged me on more than one occasion, and by doing so I have exhibited great kindness. If you do so again, I promise I will go away and be a good girl in the future. Gertrude Eastwell. Huh. That's a nice looking horse you have there. Bet it ain't faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pride and joy. Why not a race to Calumet Ravine? Calumet Ravine. That's kind of where I need to go. I don't think I can beat him. Now yeah, let's do it. You? Sure, let's race. All right, let's race! I don't think I can beat him. Yes, boy. Okay. What? That's not fair. You can't catch us. Where do you come from? Oh, he took a shortcut. This gets rough. Yeah. <gasps> no, 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 no. Look at that. A one. So oh, that was it. What happened to you? Huh? Oh, that stem <laughs> on a train and Ugh. 
I can't believe I beat him. All right. I need to go. There it is. I really need to come down here. Easy, easy. It. Yes. Ooh, it is cold. <gasps> I didn't put the outfit on. I need to fix that. Yeah. All right, at this bridge, right here. This is at the Wapiti Reservation, right here. We need to go straight west from the bridge. <clears throat> it's not this bridge, it's the next one. Or is it over here? Maybe over here. Oh, there it is. All right. At this bridge right here. There's a nice present. One of my favorites. Not the rum, but the dynamite arrow pamphlet. Boom. And a jewelry bag. Dynamite arrow pamphlet. Need an arrow, a dynamite stick, and a large, large feather. I have to check. Take an arrow and attach a large feather. All right. Now I like to get that thing first thing. So we're good. Nice. So it's the bridge by the rundown cabin just south of Wapiti. Right on. Now, how much money do I have? Here's another thing I like to do pretty early. I'm gonna need it. New patient. The varmint well, rifle. Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. It let's really is. Alright, let's look. <sighs> I own that one. I can't buy that one. Can't buy that one. I can buy that one? It's... I don't like the volcanic. That one's not bad. This one's the best. So, can't get the Evans. I have the carbine repeater. If it weren't for all the bounties uh, running around Lancaster. doing handover, I'd be out of business. Litchfield right here is my favorite. But I think it's, I don't think you can get it till chapter six. There. Armament rival. Yes. Getting low on money. I don't want to buy my horse. That was us. I bet this the train is better with some new sides. Barrel. Rifling. Ooh, it's expensive. I'm gonna do it.
You'll love it. No scope. You thought about upgrading the stock? Nope, I'm not nice doing ones. anything to it other than that. <clears throat> huh. I'd recommend loading up cool. on extra ammo. Oh, I wonder how much the uh, bandolier is. Wait, let's... Definitely need that. You see a few people in town with that, too. Press. Uh, Revolver Express. <laughs> the sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. Forty-five. You'll see a few people in town with that too. I gotta buy it. Yep. And that. Okay. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. <clears throat> wow. Let's go back to ammo then. Okay. Nope, don't need it. It's yours now. There we go. Nice. That should be good. Some kids oh, oh. picking through the wood pile. No respect. Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, mister. All you need Hello, to know is the new Hanover Gazette. Yeah. All right. There it is. That was close. <laughs> Dang, gotta get those cores up. Take care of this guy. I'm gonna tell them. No, you're not. All about you. If they ever come out here. I didn't get here in time. Nope. Not robbing the law, man. Law, man. Nope.
Darn, I wish I could have got here faster. Couldn't tell where they were from. There's Kieran. The thing is, the thing is that it isn't. Well, what's the plan? I mean, after Blackwater, we don't want any more deaths. I ain't just some two bit huckster, Jose. Yes, he is. <laughs> I am willing to die for this if that is what it takes, but right now. I need to be left alone by all the second guessers. As you wish, my friend. I'll get us out of this, Arthur. You know that. All right. boys to get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. This should be some real good eating. Let's see. Crafting. Well, I want to check first. <clears throat> I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Oh, I gotta have the leather working tools first. Which means I have to do a Strauss mission. Okay. Yep. Oh, I like that one. <clears throat> Medicine wagon. Twice. My items are one of a kind, Mr. Morgan. Five animal carcasses to Pearson. Three valuables to the box. Okay, we got a lot to do. 